Hi, welcome back to my home studio slash bedroom. Today I'm gonna show you how I make very nice, delicate, calming music with classical instruments. I'm Vanny Debray, I'm a songwriter, I'm a composer, and I sometimes make soundtracks like this for different types of videos. This one is for a real estate showcase video that my brother was commissioned to make and the owner wanted custom music. They didn't want to go for music library music. They wanted something that was custom made to fit the video. So that's where I come in and I'm going to show you a bit of what I made and then how. All right, so this is a bit of how it goes. <laughs> Alright, so I made this in Logic Pro. I think it's easier for me because I've been using it for so long. When it comes to classical instrumentation, I prefer the MIDI interface in Logic. Cool, so you get the idea. This type of work is sometimes challenging to me because it has to be so basic and formulaic. And I find that I'm scared to make something that's too cheesy and too expected and too boring. Um, but then again, things are cheesy and expected and boring because a lot of people like them. And so do I. And now I listen back. I'm like, oh, this is so nice. So my approach when I get a project like this is to choose the instruments. I chose some piano, some strings. There's a couple ambient synths in the background, which I'll show you. And then two other orchestral instruments, which I'll also show you later. The piano is the first part I worry about because it's really the main layer and it's going to carry the entire harmony, even the melody throughout the entire video. And I go about it this way. I think, so it's a commercial video, so it needs to be generic harmonies, generic music. And I usually go for a four chord progression, one of the, the main ones. So here I think I did, so I did A major. And then C sharp minor. And then what is it? F sharp minor. Descending into E, which is five. So it's one, minor three, minor six, five, one. And then it loops around. And I think that's the chord progression for the entire video. I often do some sort of arpeggio. It makes it more delicate, it makes it flow. I guess it's inspired by, you know, the type of uh, easy film music that everybody loves, like uh, Jan Tiersen or uh, a Depla or an Audi, or even Philip Glass, I guess. Just like recurring motions, arpeggios in the piano over very simple harmonies. So just the chord tones. Maybe a seventh here and there, a ninth, nothing crazy. Oh, and the piano sound is this Arturia um, piano. It's the German Grand. I usually use this one because it sounds more mellow. And I turn the brightness down over here. Woo. It changes everything. Cool. So the next thing I think about is the video. I'm not just making a nice soundtrack for no reason, right? It has to fit with the images and the thing that makes it fit the most is the pacing. So I really tried at the beginning to work with my arpeggio pattern with the tempo to make sure that I could get as many cuts lining up with my melody, my harmony, so that it really seems like the music was made for the images. Nice. So I do a couple variations of this during the piece because you don't want to keep the same exact thing going for, what is it, three, four minutes. I keep the harmony and I change octave or I change the speed or I change the pattern of the arpeggio and it makes little sections that are distinct. And I try to make the sections fit with the storyline of the video. All right, next is the strings. Thank you. 
Cool, the strings are two layers of strings. The first one is a free VST. It's the, the BBC Discover, which I kind of like sometimes to add as a, as a background layer. Um, mixing different string VSTs together makes them sound kind of better. But I wanted the strings to be super subdued here and barely noticeable. So this is one layer. Then I have another sound, Spitfire Intimate Strings. It's one of the cheaper string plugins out there. It's super subtle. Oh, and I, I even have one part that's doubling the violins. That's the contact um, studio strings. Again, one of the cheaper string plugins out there. This one sounds more like solo, more dry, which is sometimes nice because it adds closeness, right? The problem with the BBC strings is that they're so far away and drenched in reverb, like you cannot take the reverb out, so that's why they're free. <laughs> and then the intimate strings, they're super up close, but they're very small. And so this one's more robust um, and all three together kind of have a nice blend, like a suction sound. So I separate the voices and I pan them and then I, I stack two different types of violin with the same exact part. It just adds that depth that makes the sound more complex. So all strings together. And now with the piano. Cool. Next we have this alchemy ambient pad. Super low. It's there at the very beginning and it's there throughout the piece, but very, very not noticeable. It's called Vintage Warmer. We didn't want to start the music right away, but there had to be something going on. And because it's an inside shot, the foley wasn't there yet. So I added this little pad, for the ambience, and then I kept it. Um, the last thing are the wind instruments. So there's a flute and there's a clarinet, which I often use because I find that they're easy to write for. Flute goes like... And the clarinet is like... And you'll notice that I, I changed the expression to make them sound a little bit less fake. Okay, so now all together they sound like this. And then there's so little processing on this. Maybe a small compressor on the piano and very little reverb. Usually like these plugins have built-in reverb and I don't want to add even more. So I kept it super subdued and straightforward. These small projects I have to do in like a couple hours. And so I don't worry about making a super creative mix. It just has to be done quick and it has to be emotionally effective. And I think this is emotionally effective. Cool, maybe this gives you some insight onto how to create some delicate sounding music. Yeah, and if you have any tips, leave them below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.